Hello everyone, I proudly welcome you to this quick tech tutorial brought to you by DataTex. My name is Ako Smiler. I'm a database developer. Each week I make helpful videos, helpful tutorials in databases or data science to help our data management journey. If you have not subscribed to the channel, for you not to miss any of our helpful videos, please subscribe and then hit or turn on the little bell notification icon so that uh, anytime that we upload useful content as this to this very new channel of ours, you stand to be notified. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through or show you how to create relationships between tables and how, re how, how relevant it is to also have proper relationships created between or among your database table in Microsoft Access. Okay, so now what is relationship? Relationship is simply a link or a connection between two or more tables. When two tables are, or when tables in your database are properly uh, connected or properly joined together by relationship, we say that normal, normalization is actually uh, being taken care of. So relationships have to be, if you have database table, you know database is a collection of related data. And then uh, before your database or your tables will actually get connected or related to each other for information to be passed on very easily from table to table, there has to be properly defined relationships between your table so as to reduce redundancies. Databases are also, databases exist uh, or we've, act, we've actually, we actually have to resort to the use of database to avert duplicates in our data storage. So today I'll be walking you through the very simple steps to creating relationship between or among tables in your Microsoft Access project and how useful it is. So for instance, in this uh, simple database that I have in here, I have with three tables. I have the student TB, I have the classes TB, then I have the teacher's table. Okay, so now we all agree to the fact that every 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 student in here uh, has to belong to a particular class and here we have the classes over here then also every class uh, to every class there has to be a teacher so we are going to learn how to create a relationship between the student table and the class then also from the class table to the teachers database okay before relationship can be created in microsoft access between two tables the tables the two tables in question have to get a field in common they have to get a field in common so now these fields that they have to actually get have common in a sense that they shouldn't necessarily be have uh, the fields need not necessarily have the same name but at the end of the day their data types all have to be the same before we can actually uh, join them together so now we are going to join the student table to the class table so let's see how that is done Every student will belong to a particular class and here we have the class code. So we are going to build that relationship using the class code. So in here, we have the class code here. So let me get to the design view of this particular table. So here we have the class code. We have the class code over here. Uh, let's make it a required field. Now, data integrity rules have been violated. Let me save it. Then you make sure that uh, this class goes over here you set it as unique so that uh, no 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 more than two classes cannot all um, each class will actually have a single class code so now that we have this one checked we go to the student table we add one more field to it we call it also class code or you can choose any other name because we'll be using to build a relationship we make sure it also bears the same data type as short test now you save it okay so now our exit all table so let's create our first relationship now here on top of the ribbon this is microsoft access version 2016 uh, you move out to the top here you click database tools you go to relationships so you could see the relationship window is actually not showing any table because no tables have been added to our uh, database yet or our relationship window here so you click show tables here then now you add the two tables in question so class table then the student tb all right so now that we have the two tables here you click the class code here you join it to this one so here 
the relationship edit dialogue has opened which allows you to define some sort of integrities for this relationship so here let's say that with, for the referential integrities we have to enforce it now uh, we also have to check the cascade update related records and cascade delete related records so now what cascade update related records does is that each time that is a change or amendment is made to uh, the class code in the class table automatically those codes will also be changed automatically by the database in the student student info table or the student tb uh, that is a class uh, a cascade update related for sorry <laughs> So now we check it. Now let's move down here. Cascade delete related record. This uh, this is an option that I don't usually advise my student to um, actually enforce because you have to uh, actually undergo a very careful planning before you have this one checked. Cascade delete related record simply means uh, each time that a particular class is deleted, all students associated to that class will also be removed automatically from the system. And you can see this is something that uh, at time goes on to very costly for you to bear. So uh, if you have actually carried out all your planning and you think uh, you can bear the whole cost of actually having that particular issue, then you can move on to check the cascade delete related records. For now, I will leave it on check, so I'll create. So now you can see uh, a thick line has been drawn signifying the success of the relationship. So now what we have to do is that uh, we save it, control S to save now i'll close the relationship window so now what we've done is that once we come to the student table we can assign the student to classes so let's say this one is in class one then we type gr1 so as soon as we type gr1 the system will detect that this student is in class one so later on i will be showing you in subsequent videos i will show you how to use queries to fetch class names against the students so let's say this one is gr1 again this one is jhs1 or jh1 this one is gr2 so now whichever whichever value that uh, you will put in this class code over here so this is what we call uh, the foreign key this is a foreign key this class code is a foreign key to the students um, the student table so the reason why it's called a foreign key is that uh, a foreign key is simply a primary key of a table which has been used or which has been what duplicated in another table uh, so as to allow the relationship building. So you could see that in as much as this one over here is function as a primary key. Uh, when it comes to the student TV here, it is not a primary key, but then it's a foreign key. So that is the difference here. So we also have to take note that we cannot assign uh whichever value that you put in here you have to make sure that this other than that you will be uh shown a whole lot of awful errors so now the relationship is successfully created so uh, let's move on to create the relationship between the class table and the teacher's table so here in the teacher's table also uh we have teacher name then teacher id then the class table too we have the same thing in here so what i will do is i'll go to the class table then i'll add teacher teacher ID short test that is what I'm going to use to build a relationship so now let's create a relationship go to database tools again let's add the last table to it so teacher table so let me drag it over here so now we click the teacher ID here to this one we check the same options create a relationship okay so now this time around it is telling us that indexes were not found yes because we have not uh, we failed to actually set a proper index so let's sorry let's go back uh, so that uh, uh, I show you how to rectify that so here you go to the the teachers table the teachers ID you make sure you said it's required you said it's unique here so when it comes to the class when it comes to the class TV, the teacher's ID, you do the same settings. But this time around, it is going to be required, but it will not be, uh, it, it, it must not necessarily be unique because one teacher can handle more than two classes. So now that uh, we are done, we can add uh, some couple of uh, staff IDs. So let's say GA01 here. 
so G A zero one G A zero one then uh, which other ID do we have here again we have S A zero three so S A zero three so S A zero three which one again F A let's say F A zero four that is Felix Atta so GHS one Felix Atta which is S A zero four sorry F A zero four okay so now that uh, now it means that whichever values we have over here exist in the parent table so we can save all updates now we go back to our database to relationship let's add the teachers table now this time around your relationship should actually work you enforce this now you click create so successful we are true okay so now our relationship is neatly created and like i told you earlier on relationship creation in microsoft access is very very important because one it helps us to it helps database developers or administrators to check redundancies and also it, it helps them to avoid duplicates in the data and then also uh, it also ensures consistency in the way data is actually entered as we move on with the tutorials i'll be showing you another very, very relevant importance of relationship which is passing of data from one table to the other one thing that um, i would like to show is the relationship report you can click here and have a very nice relationship report generated for you so if you have a printer connected you can print it if you have if you want to email it you can also email it as such so guys thank you very much for watching this particular video if you have any question kindly put it down in the comment section for me if you will need me uh, to assist you on any project that you actually have in uh, or contact me on any of our software products you can check down the description of the video for my email address and also my telephone number thank you enjoy the other videos bye bye